So there's this awesome thing about language that whether you're grammatically correct or not, and you can still you can still end up getting your point across in the most beautiful ways. Because there's different ways in which we all talk. There's different backgrounds to our speech. We might not have English as a first language since we were brought up or something. So I want you to focus that even though I will point out grammatically correct language structure, it's important to note that it's not entirely necessary for us to focus on grammatically correct English if we're not able to get the point across. If we're more comfortable getting the point across in say English or in India we use English which is Indian English. So it's just more comfortable for you and it's okay to use that. So to start with, I'd like to point out a few sentence structural faults which I found out, uh, which I spotted while you all were talking. And this is not directed at anybody, so don't feel offended. If you are, then come talk to me later, we'll deal with it. Uh, <laughs> we can have a conversation. Yeah, Guy, I think you and I will. Yeah. <laughs> no, but there was this use of the word then after, where, which is not exactly the correct word, if you would be there after. There's, I love their pair. You cannot love their pair. It's, I mean, if you say their pair, it's a pair of balls right here. Uh, <laughs> I love the pair. You love a pair. You don't love their pair. Uh, <laughs> um, the green card is just light up. Uh, mm -hmm. The card cannot light up. <laughs> <laughs> so, and the green card is just light up. Is not, again, grammatically correct. Subject, verb. <laughs> it's the green card has appeared. <laughs> Um, recalling someone, you recount to someone, you don't recall someone. Um, solitude time alone would be my moments of solitude, because solitude literally means alone. <laughs> um, is there such a thing for, as perfect to you? Is there anything that is perfect according to you? Hey, how would you name your company? It's what would you name your company? How is the process of naming the company? Uh, all students who comes in would be all students who come in. It's subject verb agreement. So when you use uh, plural verb, something goes wrong. I'm not too sure about my subject verb agreement and my explanation to you. So I, I know how it comes out correct, but I'm not able to explain it to you at this point in time. <laughs> we'll talk about it later if you want to. Um, price will be cheaper. Price cannot be cheaper, it's an indication of the cost. So price will be lower, the cost will be lower, or that thing will be cheaper. And everyone has a hobby. Everyone has a hobby. It's a single, uh, singular thing, so we have to address it with a singular verb. Uh, the freaking Justin Bieber. Well, the freak Justin Bieber. There's a problem between the freak and Justin Bieber. I mean, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to point out, bro, but your English grammar isn't the strongest. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, but but you, that's why I wanted to point out, you use Singlish. You're more used to Singlish. And that's the beauty of language, that you can communicate in, in a similar language to English, but still get a point across. And we all understood what you said. And it appealed to us. I don't want to play the drums, but yeah, it appealed to me. Uh, self-taught myself would be my drum skills are self-taught or I taught myself. Uh, portray across, you don't portray across to somebody, you portray to somebody or you get a point across. Uh, look forward for, sorry, look forward for, you look forward to something, not for something. And to don't just sit around, okay, I didn't correct this. You, Two don't just sit around, the two is actually redundant. Two don't sit around. Uh, these are just sentence structures, but there were a lot of good users of English today. Uh, Shana and Praveen, you guys just went for the trials. Uh, Shana went for as long as la, and then she went. It was during your table topics that point out a few trials. Can't really recall what. As long as I'm not and if you do not do this, then if you do not do this, if you do not do this, she went on twice. Um, 
which is really good. It's really ex it expands on your imagery. Um, you're able to use more examples. And probably new to uh, if you do not if you do not and you also use pop fill pop fill pop fill, which is catchy, you know. Pop fill, yeah. <laughs> Lord, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. Lord, pop fill. <laughs> <laughs> so if I can get the basic point. Pop -fill. So so it's catchy. It, it gets you in tune with what the speaker is trying to say. Um, studying fictional characters, studying minds, uh, I think it was Amos. Yeah, so studying minds, studying fictional characters, you use the same studying this twice, and it's catchy again. Uh, brain to brain, someone's heart to heart, hundreds and hundreds, when you listen to rock, when you listen to pop, when you listen to something else. Um, great words and phrases were dismay. It's a different word. There, there was this. Have any of you seen Dead Poets Society? Yeah. Yeah. So Dead Poets Society. There's this really romantic and this awesome scene where Robin Williams goes and don't use the word pain because it's lazy. And all the guys were like, yeah, I'm listening to that. And he says because very is a lazy word. Women cannot be wooed when you're lazy, which I should have listened to. But anyways. Uh, <laughs> The word dismay is to signify very uh, shock or something like that. And dismay is just a single, more beautiful word to summarize two simple words. Uh, untold wonder, intrigue for, to throw a party instead of just posting a party. Uh, has me going infrequent, fine taste, forged friendships, forged friendships. And I like Hakim's use of the word audiophilia, is it? Yeah, um, instrument of choice. <coughs> and this stage is yours, own it. That was a great phrase. Uh, to cap it off, I'd like to thank the three people who used the word of the day, MC Jeshan and Amos. This was one weird word of the day, <laughs> but you all managed to and somehow incorporate it in your speech, which was wonderful. Thank you. Thank you.